Shagamu, a town founded in the mid-19th century, is located in Ogun State, southwestern Nigeria. In the 19th century, Shagamu controlled the trade routes between the ports in Niger Delta and the Yoruba mainland due to its position. One of the first men to take advantage of the trade routes was Omoba Daniel Adibambo Joshua. Born in 1882, Adebambo Joshua was one of the first to trade with Europeans in the early 19th century. He worked for UAC Company, who later supported him when he quit to start his own business. As one of the most educated and wealthiest men in the city, his influence in Shagamu is vast, with his houses, land, church, school, properties scattered all over the town. The very wealthy Adebambo Joshua had 12 wives and numerous offspring from which many great-grandchildren came from. One of them, the new face of boxing, Anthony Joshua, popularly known as AJ. Nigerians have been laying claim to Anthony Joshua even before his 11th round win over Ukrainian Vladimir Klitschko to become the new WBA and IBF world heavyweight champion in the world. That bout which happened on Saturday, April 29, 2017 was a huge event in Shagamu as the youth association organized a viewing party which was attended by hundreds of Shagamu indigens. <laughs> Anthony Joshua might be a British citizen, but for the Shagamites, he remains one of their own. Adidamola Joshua is my name. I'm the uncle of AJ Anthony Joshua. This family were, we belong to the royal family of Otitibioso, ruling house. So we come from royal family. Our, our, my father, which is the great grandfather of Anthony Joshua, we are from the royal family. Olashini Joshua is the direct son of Omoba Adibambo Joshua. And Olashini Joshua is the father of Jonathan. And Jonathan is the father of Anthony. So you are the, you are the brother of um, Olashini, 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 Olashini Joshua. You are the brother of Olashini. Yes. So you are his great uncle. Exactly. Yeah. According to Anthony Joshua's uncle, fighting has been in the Joshua family line long before he delivered his first punch as a boxer. The grandfather was a great boxer. Even the sister to the, to the father, Adewumi Joshua, a lady used to beat men in this town. They're that tall. She was that tall. Yeah. She was that tall. Some men in England, when the grandfather married English lady, they accosted him on the way there. Huh? You black man with a white lady, they thought they can take advantage of. He gave them bloody noses, beat them up, the three of them. Yeah. <laughs> so he has got it running in the gym, I think. The Joshua name commands huge respect in Shagamu, stemming from the exploits of their great grandfather. Omoba Daniel Adebambo Joshua. Widely loved in the region for his generosity, Adebambo Joshua's school and church still exist today in the city. His school built in 1947 still provides free education for primary school pupils. Fondly called Baba Josh, he donated lands to the Anglican church, the Catholic church, and even a mosque the Joshua Hall at the Shagamu Mosque is the only hall within a Muslim complex carrying a Christian name. He was a member of the Anglican Church in Shagamu who frowned on his polygamous lifestyle and refused to confer the title of an elder to him. He quit the church and started his own Christ African Church, which still exists to this very day. The Joshua family, they always contribute to the development of the church and to the school. 
uh, we thank God for their life and for their children. And what happened on the ground now is a victory for one of the Joshua sons that won uh, in the boxing area. So it's a joy to our part and it's a joy to everybody. So since then, since I've been here, the Joshua always helped the church to develop in their family harvest or in their yearly contribution to develop the, the church. For the people of Shagamu, AJ's new victory, fame and wealth and nothing new is just a protraction of the empire his great-grandfather had built. That's why they all agree with the recent suggestion to have the Shagamu International Stadium and the popular cinema road renamed after him. The cinema from which the popular road gets its name was built by AJ's late great-grandfather Adebambo Joshua. Anthony Joshua truly embraces his Nigerian roots, always making it known the influence Nigerian culture has on him. He even speaks a little Yoruba. My heart is with Nigeria, my heart is with Britain. I'm a Nigerian man by blood, yes. What's your connection with Nigeria? Do you eat Nigerian food? Do you watch Nigerian movies? Do you listen to Nigerian music? I give away my secret, but that's the founded jam ever. You know, a greasy. So that's, that's, that's the secret of the success. So uh, can you speak Yoruba? Uh, dear, dear now. <laughs> dear, dear, dear. Small, 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 small. Kilo <laughs> Shele. I'm good. Baoni. Yeah, hello. <laughs>Several times, the 27-year-old boxing champ recalled spending six months at a boarding school in Nigeria, an experience which he said taught him discipline that has taken him this far in his boxing career. I thought I was going there on holiday. I wasn't prepared for it. It was a boarding school as well. At that time, you think why, but as you get older, you think it was good that you experienced it. It was good for me, AJ said in a new BBC documentary. It was a change and I thought I was going to go for the full course. 5.30am in the morning, you fetch your water, put like an iron in your water to warm it up. Your clothes had to be washed and ironed. It wasn't an issue, but I wasn't prepared. It was a good discipline, he told the Daily Mail in another interview. We paid a visit to the school, Mayflower School, Ikene. We learned that Anthony Joshua's grandmother, the Irish mother of his father, Jonathan, was once a grand patron of the school. We however discovered that Mayflower had no knowledge of Anthony Joshua's time at the school. Well, I only heard about him on radio. I've not seen him before. I don't know anything about him. Okay. And I cannot say I met him in this group. He must have come a very long time. So for us to actually trace, he must be able to tell us the year the student number okay. and the name he was bearing there if his name has not changed with that one we'll be able to trace anthony joshua's cousin spent time with the boxer during his early days in watford and they're still close friends he spoke to him just a day after his huge win against klitschko everybody calls him anthony yes he's anthony but to me he's femi okay. he uh, grew up beside me i'm very proud of him he knows me very well on kulua that's why he calls me till date very respectful boy very humble, very hardworking, very dedicated, uh, very dedicated to whatever he's doing. So we're very happy. He has made us proud. He has made the family proud, the country in general, and you know the world. How much you know of Nigeria does he know? I wouldn't say not so much, but a little bit. For someone who has lived in the UK, uh, he eats Nigerian food. He speaks a little bit of Yoruba. He dresses Nigerian, listens to Nigerian music. Yeah. So I don't think there's nothing uh, much to know, but I think he knows pretty much uh, what he needs to know. He might be a British citizen, but AJ's ties with Nigeria and Shagamu remain strong as ever. His dad, Jonathan, who was born to a Nigerian father from Shagamu and an Irish mother, returned to Shagamu to marry Yetunde, AJ's mother. Anthony Joshua is Shagamu through and through. He might not breathe it, but it runs in him. Oba Adewale Oshiberu, the Elekbe of Ekbe, and the acting president of traditional rulers in Remo, of which Shagamu is a part of, believes the boxing champ also embodies the spirit of a true Shagamu son. Joshua family is a very popular family here. Um, <clears throat> it belongs to the Akaribu, one of the Akaribu ruling houses. Uh, but Joshua happens to be, I mean, happens to be somebody that was very popular yeah, in those days, uh, and they occupy a very big area within the community. Uh, like I said, the family is quite popular. If you come into Shagamu and say you are going to uh, 
to have the family's house. Everybody knows that they are, they are in Joko, you know, uh, they will take you right there. Um, and uh, the mom, too, uh, happens to be, you know, half, Chagamo, half, you know, but she actually grew up more in Chagamo here. Um, the, the grand, the mom, the great grandmother's home is actually on this very road. Um, this is my street here. Uh, so, everybody can doubt that. You know, the fact that it's not in the UK doesn't mean that it's not, that doesn't erode the fact that it's a Nigerian and it's uh, from With Floyd Mayweather now retired, Anthony Joshua has now become the face of boxing, having revived the heavyweight category, which gives us icons like Muhammad Ali, Evander Holyfield, and Mike Tyson. Only 27, Anthony Joshua is on his way to becoming a boxing icon himself. On the side of his right arm, just below his shoulder, he has a tattoo of the African map with Nigeria highlighted. Despite the colors of the flag he represents, that's who he is. Heavyweights ahead of him, 9-5. How many are there? I mean, that was pure destruction. Joshua looking back.